let's head over to our spotlight, starting with Nikki from Hackathon. Hi, everyone. I have an exciting update from Hackathon Land from Outer Core Founders team for you all. Last Friday, we kicked off our fourth annual three week flagship virtual hackathon, Hackafest 2023 with Eat Global. Uh, we have 820 registered hackers, and the total prizes add up to a whooping $150,000, of which $60,000 are from Protocol Labs, spread out across all the teams you see listed on the right. Over 90 projects have already checked in with their progress reports and blockers. So all the teams that are supporting the hackathon do head over to your dashboard and check those uh, projects out. You can also contact them on Discord with the information listed over there. Coming up next are project feedback sessions for hackers and live hackathon judging. Uh, so if you'd like to be a hackathon judge, sign up using the link listed in the slide. And a huge, huge, huge thanks to Andres and all the teams for the awesome support for Hackathon. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you, Nikki. Uh, Patrick for Spark. Hi there, me again. Um, so Spark, uh, yeah, this is the, the first module which the station team is working on. Uh, the idea here is to do two things. One is to get to the first station module that gives people payouts. And secondly, to make some progress on the retrieval incentives and retrieval reputation space uh, against storage providers. So the idea is that stations, of which we have now 110 around the world, uh, will be running uh, periodic retrievals against storage providers and measuring them and then storing them. And then eventually they'll be rewarded uh, for, for doing these jobs. Um, so far, we've been hitting the Saturn network as a first step. And while, we, and while we've been doing that, uh, we've integrated Lassie into Zinnia. Uh, and so we can now uh, hit the SPs using all the hard work on Lassie. Um, the next step is to actually create this thing we call Meridian, uh, which stands for Measure, Evaluate, Reward, uh, the MER. And Meridian is uh, the, the Measure, Evaluate, Reward is Impact Evaluator terminology. We want to create an Impact Evaluator whereby not only station, but also the work we've done on Saturn uh, to reward people for their jobs. It becomes part of a framework where you can just plug in to, to measure a certain job in the network. You then get evaluated and then you get rewarded by the smart contract. Uh, and that works kicking off uh, as we be, as we speak. Thank you. Steve for JSF Invest application. Yeah, it's great. So JSF Invest right, has a long history here at PL with lots of exploration and lessons learned, many of which have now moved into Helia. And so over the last month, the Helio working group has taken on doing the work of actually deprecating JSIPFS. So, you know, first, a lot of planning that went into doing this before we started disrupting and upending people's lives. And, and then involved a lot of uh, documenting, communicating in terms of blog entries, uh, migration guide, which we've got a lot of positive uh, feedback on. And then it was like enter into execution and disruption. So the, the team like went through one by one about 370 uh, GitHub issues and PRs, uh, often you know, denoting whether that has been solved in Helio or is not going to be addressed, et cetera. So I've done all of that work. So just using this as an opportunity to celebrate the maintainership that went into setting something down gracefully and ideally all the time and dev confusion that we can save by reducing some of the surface area that we're getting out of Helio. So big, big thanks to those who came before us, many of which who are still here, but in different parts of the org, certainly to Alex, Russell, and Nishant who did the lifting here and, uh, and Outer Core uh, and folks participating in Hackafest that have already been giving feedback on how to make this better. You know, we aren't done, done, done yet. Uh, there is doc cleanup that needs to occur around IPFS docs, the js.ipfs.io website, and even ProtoSchool. Um, so those are being tracked and we'll do those and certainly going to be uh, actively improving Helia as a result of the feedback we're getting. Uh, but we will archive the repo at the end of this week uh, so that no new issues start showing up in JSIPFS. So again, thanks all for your, your help to get us to this point. Awesome. I mean, Hello, everyone. I'm Amin, one of the engineers on Saturn. And uh, as you may have heard already, we're very excited to announce that Saturn has just deployed decentralized payouts via mm -hmm. FEM smart contracts. Um, what does this mean? It means that now Saturn node operators get their rewards locked to their Falcon address in an FEM smart contract, and they have the ability to query or claim their earnings, as well as have access to a dedicated on-chain record of their Saturn reward transactions. Um, we just launched in the beginning of June and it was a very successful launch. Already 75% of the network has, has claimed their earnings. And to our knowledge, we are the first uh, decentralized CDN to, re uh, to, uh, to release a decentralized payouts mechanism in this space. So it's kind of cool, but honestly not surprised that we're leading the frontiers in that area. Um, so as, as part of our tooling, we developed a CLI and a web application for our node operators to claim. You can see some lovely pictures of that on the slide. 
And uh, one cool thing about our CLI is that it offers end-to-end Foxconn native functionality, meaning that um, you can do everything with deploying, claiming, inspecting your earnings without the need for an Ethereum address, and you can use that uh, to interact with the FEM. Um, so everything we've worked on is open source and public, and we really tried our best to generalize the tooling um, that we worked on so that any team that wants to deploy their own re- like a reward distribution mechanism, FEM, can uh, leverage the tooling that we have built. And uh, of course, we're, we'd love to chat about that if, uh, if anyone is interested. And uh, that's it. Thank you. Great work. George. All right. My turn now. So yeah, just very briefly going over Consensus Days 23, which we organized this Monday and, and Tuesday. It was the third edition of Consensus Days, except if you're really old at PO, in which case it was the fourth one because there was a, a old event at one point together with the SBC. But, but yeah, but so we, we did it in 21 as a virtual event in 22 as an in-person event in, in LA and now uh, back to virtual. And yeah, it was... We, I think, we're, we continued the, the 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 good trend of the previous e- editions. We had a whole lot of very interesting talks. We had twenty accepted uh, talks out of thirty five submissions, plus two invited talks. One from Hagevos, so the chief scientist of of IOHK, IOJ Cardano, and and Jarko, the the CTO of of Informal Systems. But we have participation from all across the industry and all across uh, academia in Europe, the US, and and Asia Pacific as well. Uh, other numbers: two hundred and thirty one registrations uh, for this year's events. Uh, we have been using uh, the consensus channel uh, over time for all of this, so that's up to three forty seven. And our mailing list of participants is now up to six hundred and twelve members. Uh, so people who participated in this or previous editions, the YouTube videos aren't up yet. We just have the raw streams from from uh, that you know captured the whole event. Those have been viewed six hundred and fourteen times or six hundred and thirty three times. Uh, as of now over the last couple of days, but but we will be publishing all of the edited uh, individual talks on YouTube in the coming days. So uh, yeah, feel free to follow us on YouTube uh, or Twitter, and I'll also drop links in, in the chat. Awesome, and that rounds out our spotlight.